girl is sad and confused because um, like the mum's laughing and stuff and he thinks that he's like she's like cheating on her with someone else. Mum and dad are fighting and the little, the little girl is sitting on the stairs. I picked a field and the person lying in the grass and look up the sky and then I went like close with the person's face to show that they're really really sad. Uh, working with the writer was really fun actually. I found um, that I like coming up with all the ideas for the script and then noticing like some of the parts in the script was quite good and it also related to like myself as well. Working with a professional writer was really scary because I didn't know whether she was going to think all of my ideas were rubbish or whatever. But then after we like got to know her, it was just like talking to a normal person. It wasn't like, oh, she's a big professional boss lady. I hate my family. I hate how I'm afraid. I hate having to hide. One day I hope I can get away. One day I will leave and never come back. I hate Snow Patrol. I hate losing things. I hate having to find them. I hate getting up. I hate people who think they're funny. I hate people who can't take blame. I hate injections. I choose to walk in. I wish I never wanted to know because it's too far to walk. I wish you didn't find the necklace. And my secret place. I, I wish I could just go I hate else. everyone. I hate my dad. I hate my pond. I hate my friend. I wish happiness I would stay you. inside me. I wish I could forget the bad and remember the good. I wish I had more ideas for wishes. It's a very great experience, the fact that you can actually be included in films and some of the activities in the workshops are also very good. What's this then? Just go away. The workshops were like, really good because they helped us to learn how to work with each other before we actually had to go onto the set and start developing the script. And we learned like how to use the cameras, so it made sense what was going on around us when we actually had the filming day. <laughs> glasses. <laughs> I never expected it to be easy. Um, I didn't feel particularly disturbed by it, but I don't think it's easy for anyone to talk about something like that. But it's easier once you have spoken about it to be able to think about it because you know that other people have had similar things and you're not the only one. What is it? It's Grandma's necklace. I didn't want it to get lost or broken. Some of the points I found it a bit awkward, but then I also felt like really safe because I knew everyone by that time. Acting was great. I hadn't, I hadn't done anything like it before, and I wasn't sure how I'd be at it or what it would be like. But I really enjoyed it, and I'd like to do more of that as well. Get out, you get the photograph out of your pocket. It's quite scary at first because you think, uh oh, what am I going to do? If I mess this up, I'm going to blow the whole thing out of the water. Then you realise, actually, no, yeah, we'll be fine. So, although it took a long time to do, and although it was really painful to do it at some points, I liked going over the gate as my favourite scene because. We kind of, while we were waiting to go over and while we were like walking up the road and whatever, um, like as teenagers kind of bonded a lot and got to know each other quite well. What are we standing here for? There's nobody here. I think my favourite sequence was actually walking towards the house. I think that was quite good. I think the favourite shot was just Callum's face all like zoomed in and just seeing like all the emotions of it. Filming it was really, really good I must say. Um, 
But it was seems completely different when you're filming it to actually watching it. Action! <laughs> I think when people see it for the first time they'll be like kind of moved because we all were when we watched it and it was kind of scary and creepy but then there was like the aspect of we were all kind of happy as well because like you could see that these people had got away from everything which had happened in their past and they were able to move on from it so it kind of gives you some hope as well. It was really good, to be honest. Um, some of the bits are very emotional, um, I must say. Um, some of the bits are actually very scary, like um, the thumping at the cupboard and getting into the car and things like that. Definitely very proud of it, because um, we managed to recreate it so well. And you could see everyone put so much work into it and the emotion on everyone's faces when they were being filmed. Wow, <laughs> it was amazing. It was like really, really emotional. And it was much better than I expected. It was great. <laughs> It was really impacting actually, it made me like really sad and also really scared but I was quite proud of all the work that we've all done, it was really good to see it all come together. It moved your feelings up and down sometimes because you think, oh yeah, it's, they're going and then they're like, oh no, it's really upsetting for the dad really because he's not going to see his kids again and then you think, well, he didn't have to act like that, it's his own fault really. The impact of it is so profound because it all really happens. <laughs> and just seeing it on a screen and just thinking that's happened to me. And it it's striking how real it seems on that. I've gotta say that it's bo actually boosted my confidence all this filming because um Quite some time ago, I used to have severe stage fright, and now that I've actually seen myself in an actual film, it's certainly paid off. It's made me feel more confident. I've met new people, which is great, because before I had zero confidence at meeting anybody, and now I've got confidence about doing things, meeting people, and um, going places. I've got closer to my sister because before. I couldn't really see her in any way really. I didn't have any like forms of contact. But coming to rural media, it's made me talk to my sister and we can actually get over the stuff that we wanted to ask each other. It's been really good actually. It's been really nice working with her. Because before I started I was like really, really nervous, like who would they be, like what would they think of me? It was all fine afterwards. Yeah, it's like 34, take one. I think I'll take away like a lot more confidence because I know that working with other people and working with people who actually know what they're doing, I'm not as bad as I thought I was and um, yeah, it's all kind of works if you put your mind to it.
I really enjoyed the experience because it's something I've never done before. Um, I've met a lot of new people who I think are great. I think the groups got on like really well together because we've all made friends and we all kind of understand what's going on and I think it's helped us because we all now know that like there's stuff there to help us as well because we don't have to be alone and anything. Hopefully the audience will see it the same way as we did and see that it can really happen to people but there's the part at the end where they move on and I think that aspect of it would make it a good thing to show to people who've been through this sort of thing because it shows that there is like light at the end of the tunnel and it's not the end.